there's too many of you to cry Brother, brother, brother The 60s was a time of unrest in America. The Vietnam War was at its peak, the Civil Rights Movement, the Black Power Movement, protests on college campuses. It was during this time when 14 young men from Morgan State College, now known as Morgan State University, felt the need to unify in brotherhood, to create a unique organization, to address the increased problems, complex problems of Afro-Americans, particularly of those of Afro-American men. On October the 12th, 1962, Groove Fight Groove Social Fellowship Incorporated was founded. The core values that it was founded upon, love, brotherhood, academics, duty, community service, unity, pride, and self-respect. Today, those core values are still maintained. These young men then traveled to Delaware State University, which became the second chapter of Groove then on to North Carolina College, now known as North Carolina Central University, the birthplace for all future chapters in the South. Five years later, October the 14th, 1967, 14 young men from John C. Smith University traveled to Durham. Reggie Washington and Johnny Jenkins was part of that group. Let's listen to them as they reflect their journey. We got there, group five group did not exist on Smith campus. So, like you and so many other brothers, we were invited to the different smokers that these fraternities would put on. Yeah. And we would observe them on the yard. Just thinking about that, you know, the only thing at Smith was Greek. But as we went to other campuses, as we participated in football for me and track for you, we saw there was another organization called Gufai Gu out there. Also during this era, the evolution of the block show. Brothers used to walk over to Listen Hall, sing songs to the females. Also sing songs as they passed by on the block. They would sing songs something like. Each day through my window, I watch them as they pass me by. I say to myself, you're such a lucky guy. Oh yeah, to play it groove by groove is truly a dream come true. Out of all the brothers in the world, you became a groove. Well, it's a group I celebration once again. Run away with me. Ooh, it's a group I celebration. Run away with me. Not only did we use just R&B songs, we used gospel songs as well. We used the gospel songs in our ceremonies, and we relished on the spiritual impact it had on us as men. Oh, we've come this far by faith Leaning on the shield Trusting in our brotherhood It's never Singing, say, whoa, 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 can't turn around. We've come this far by faith. And I'm singing, saying, just the other day, other day, I heard a man say, what he say? Said he, he didn't believe in groove. Can truly say, truly say that groove had made a way, and it's, it's, it's never failed me yet. And I'm singing, say, whoa, 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 can't turn around. 
We've come this far by faith. And I'm saying, saying, whoa, 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 can't turn around. We've come this far by faith. Brothers of the Board chapter gain respect and support from a number of organizations on campus. When the Brothers of the Board chapter would have a function, other organizations would marvel at our unity and support that we displayed. We also had support from family members, Swing Fi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated, which is our sister organization, and Groove Sweethearts, who have supported us as well throughout the years. My name is Beverly Doran Steele, proud to be one of the founders of Swing Fi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated, founded in 1969 at Winston-Salem State University. I recall the spring of 1977 when I first arrived on the campus of Johnson Smith University um, as an admissions counselor. And I recall um, a couple of brothers from Group ID Social Fellowship Incorporated had noticed my SIS little insignia on the back rear end of my car. And they stopped by the office to meet this newfound swing and they heard that she was an old lady founder that worked on campus. So. That was the beginning of my relationship with the brothers. And they, I can honestly say that they truly embraced me and respected me. And we developed a very close relationship. The relationship with the brothers, I like to say, there's a, a super group. They party hard, but who didn't party hard in the 70s? Uh, but they were still committed to doing community service and helping to give back to those that were less fortunate. I am just hopeful that Swing and Groove will continue to grow because we both have a long way to go. But I just hope that we can do it together as one organization. In memory of our fallen brothers who are gone, but never forgotten. And forever, forever, a brother of Groove, profound as the shield of me, prophetic and true, and all our tomorrows tomorrow. are linked by the chain, the spirit of brotherhood shall always remain and every day we let our torch lead the way lest all our feet do stray from our path important than who we are, it's what we do. We exist to serve others, especially young black men. Brothers of the Bull Chapter have been at the forefront of supporting, sponsoring, spearheading various community service projects. Bull Chapter Brothers sponsored Punt, Pass and Kick, a contest that was sanctioned by the National Football League's national program, voter registration drive, AIDS awareness campaign, participated in the MLK celebration. World Chapter Brothers realize it's not enough to become a guru. Rather, the primary reason to become a member is to be an activist in the uplifting of mankind.